Serpa is famous for its stout fortress wall, still in excellent condition. Much of the town is built inside the walls. It was the agriculture that brought the Romans. Of major importance was an aqueduct to bring in water. The Moors arrived in 710. In the 12th century, they added this water wheel. The Roman granary contrasts with the modern version in the background. Beige's landmark castle keep is a symbol of the city. Like Serpa, they are known for their wheat, olives, and cork. But nowadays, their greatest pride is in their exceptional regional museum. The town became a regional capital under Julius Caesar, and so its cultural heritage began. Today, their museum is the envy of the Alentejo. Along the corridors of the cloister, are beautiful azulejos from the early 16th century. Evora is one of Portugal's finest and most delightful towns. Each age has left its trace on Evora. It was the Celts who named it and the Romans who gave it its most famous landmark the Temple of Diana. Dating from the second century, it is one of the Iberian Peninsula's best preserved Roman monuments. Squeezed within Roman, medieval, and 17th century walls, it is a true open-air museum with a large number of wonderfully preserved monuments and buildings that led UNESCO to protect it as a World Heritage Site. Today is graduation at Evora University. In a long tradition, graduating seniors, young ladies from the music school, perform in front of the chapel. A short walk behind the cathedral is the Jesuit University, founded in 1559. Two young men graduating to medical school show their traditional capes. The black capes have individual patches showing classes personal history and accomplishments during their collegiate years. The main square and routes to the main square from the university are filled with a large variety of shops. Several shops have large displays of cork. They range from simple bottle corks to coasters, hot pads, baskets, bowls, and carts. Some are of animals and people, one showing men harvesting cork.
driving between cities is always pleasurable. South to north, Portugal is green with agriculture, forests, lakes, and rivers. Today adventurers in five rafts enjoy a wildlife experience on the Sorala River. It seems that every open area along the road is farmland. Small towns and villages offer surprises. A restaurant borders a rambling pottery yard, fireplaces, azulejos, and general garden and outdoor hardware supplies. Everything you need and maybe a little bit more. A Stone Age family goes with a wishing well and lots of choices in pottery. You'll see all of this and more on an Ama Waterways River Cruise.